for the NCAA tournament. They would need to win to solidify their place as a number one seed. The Huskies 16th in the nation, averaging just under five goals a night. And Denver has had St. Cloud State's number this season. The Huskies do, do know how to win in this building. Two-time champs just as the Pioneers are, including an impressive run to the title just 12 months ago. And they are on the puck now. Cooper Wiley in the back of the net! A minute 40 in! It's the sophomore D-man from Stillwater to get things going! This kid's as cool a cat as you're going to see for a younger player in this conference. He just sits back and waits, and then he snaps one through. Key to this whole play is he gave himself some space to play with. St. Cloud State went to work on the forecheck, picked it up, didn't dust it. In the NCHC quarterfinals, they've won 11 games in a row at that stage. They dispatched Minnesota Duluth out in Magnus Arena last weekend, 4-0 and 5-2. The Bulldogs did push back in that second game. That was 3-2 late. David Carl told us this week it was good for his team to face a little adversity as Z. Booyam comes in as silky and as smooth as it gets. The rookie of the year in the conference lights the lamp, and it's one to one. Oh, there's no disco music playing, but he personally put his dancing shoes on. Look at this, little shimmy sham. Gets to the net and puts it far side. He's been doing this all year, whether it be with Denver, with Team USA at the World Juniors. Nobody slides in and slashes into these areas and with control of the puck like he can. And he finished. Money added was tremendous. Scott Perunovic was in his own world in this conference. <laughs> One of Hobie, of course, Perunovic a couple of seasons ago. St. Cloud State strikes right back. Nick Ports finding the back of the net midway through the first. The St. Cloud native lifting his hometown Huskies. 2-1 our new score. Now you see why coaches are emphasizing faceoffs is the highest point of emphasis in their offseason meetings. St. Cloud wins this one clean. It's the old Mike Bossy play. Put an off winger on the wall, draw it back, scramble, take off, and fire it. And St. Cloud executes it to perfection. They have done it. Denver roster, he's done so since day one. Here is McCade Webster now, the senior captain gaining the zone. We'll shovel it over in the direction of Aiden Thompson. Comes back to Webster, jams in front, and in! The captain! with 2.44 to go in the first. Well, Denver gains the zone. Then they go to work down low. Webster gets it back. Watch sick. Now watch him back up to score. He doesn't turn forward. He doesn't front. He uses his body to protect the puck. He puts the big truck in reverse. And he slapped it by Posh. That's a little leaky on the part of Posh. Not going to lie. That has absolutely got to get stopped. Stretch. Denver a good push to open up the second period. Bros on the dump in. Josh Lidke getting there first. Okabe back to Lidke. St. Cloud State trying to build from the back and the long stretch pass finds Okabe. The assistant captain to Werner Mietnin in front. Adam Ingram! He's back on top 3-2, just one minute into the seconds. As pretty as you like from the defending champs, Dave. That, that was special, and it's the play by Akabi that you're going to see. 14 in black, watch him, gets pinched, moves the puck down low, and now look at the presence that St. Cloud shows offensively with Werner Mietten and just waiting, waiting, waiting. Hey, where's Big Bro? There he is. Oh, no, not. Shai Booyam. But beat it across to his younger brother, 
Zeev will fire, shot blocked. Barrett Hall, or excuse me, Tyson Gross getting in the way. The one-timer by Manica finds the back of the net. Electric off the stick of the freshman from Helsinki. And we are tied at three apiece. When I tell you, those offensive zone stick penalties have a funny way of coming back to burn you just by karma. Denver moves the puck around. That's a great job by Matica. When the puck goes to the wall, watch Matica in the bumper spot get himself turned around. Bumper guys tend to play a lot between the hash marks, but Matica pops out in open space. That happened. He really took off. He has established himself on the wing, good up and down player with offensive skill. And when he puts some size on that frame, it's going to be a whole different ball game. Paul right now at six foot 170. Won a small school state title in Minnesota with Gentry Academy. His team on the attack and Horn. Barrett there! It's the BMXer Barrett Hall on the back door. The freshman strikes on the power play. St. Cloud back on top. All right, first one to 10 wins. Boy, did St. Cloud State get their motor going on this one. They face off, possession undetermined. They get a plan to get the puck back. And then they go to work to the front of the net to get a rebound. And Hall, who we just talked about, jumps into an open space. Great read by Ann Horn to get a puck through. Nice little tip and play as they try to set up Kuka. And Hall is able to be there, Johnny, on the spot. St. Cloud State one. Classmate Buckberger, again, two of the 11 freshmen on this Pioneer roster. Only Boston College has a younger roster this season than Denver. Here is Thompson. Which on a whistle prompted one of the funnier lines of the year. I'll tell you in a second. <laughs> Shai Booyam. Deflected in! Manica in front! The second of the night from the freshman! Back and forth we go. Again. That's the kick of a short St. Cloud didn't need, but this is Denver playing a lot outside the dots. Once again, St. Cloud is now starting to chase all over the ice. They get worn down and it allows Denver, with so much going on up high, to sneak into the slot area and Madigan gets a stick on one and tips it home. What a job by Denver. A lot of high rolls. A lot of on the doorstep that time was Lorenz. Loose puck, 10 to go. Right up top to Boston Buckberger. Five to play in regulation. Knocked down by Lidke. One to go. The one-timer at the buzzer wide. And we are going to overtime. So, by the way, DU did challenge late after the whistle had sounded for a contact to the head penalty. Brandon Schmidt and Nick Krebsbach took a look, didn't deem anything worthy of a major. So we Capone. Lidke will get there first ahead of Lemaire. Puck stayed in the corner for a moment. Now Tristan Lemaire helping it along towards the vine. It comes to the point. Shai Booyam shot high. Here comes Ports now. Pass taken away by Shai Booyam. Harris avoiding the check of Kuka, avoiding a second hit. Left the puck behind that time, but now gets it back. The freshman up to Zeev Booyam. Booyam to the backhand, and in the back of the net! Denver marching on to the title game! Who else but St. Booyam? Five to four, your final! Ecstasy for the Pioneers. They will move on to play for their third NCHC Frozen Faceoff Championship, the second of the night for the Rookie of the Year in this conference. Heartbreak for St. Cloud State, who sees their season ends. There is a challenge on the way, but here's the replay, Dave. Denver gets the puck. Guys on the play. Into the, uh, into the offensive zone. Then it comes back out, and Devine makes a big play, or Sir Harris makes a big play here, and that's what they're looking for on the offside right over there as Booyam steps in. Booyam walked around. The goaltender, Potch, who was the one time all night, I really thought Potch just looked uncomfortable as he tried to follow Booyam. I think he thought Booyam was going to stay short. Booyam puts one fake on him and gets him down. 
and then has the composure to hold on to the puck. You know it's an offsides challenge because the linesmen are the ones that are taking a look at it.